Hello, it's the underdog here, and today I want to prove that Cranky Kong is innocent. Elementary. Previously, for this, I had stated that I was looking for a court style system where two sides will try and hash it out. But after experimenting with it in a variety of ways, I found it a little strange to be debating with myself, and it seemed just a little tad too crazy for me. So instead, this is going to just be a straight up explanation video. A commonly held theory is that Cranky Kong in the Donkey Kong Country series was the perpetrator behind the kidnapping of Pauline in the original Donkey Kong arcade game. However, I am going to prove beyond a shadow of doubt that Cranky Kong is in actual fact innocent. Firstly, we must refute the position that Mario in the Donkey Kong arcade game is the original Mario's father. We can prove this by using the image from the Mario cartoon where the original Mario dreams of his dad, whom we can see is wearing yellow and blue and not red and blue as in the arcade game. Secondly, we can refute the position that the monkey in Donkey Kong is cranky on two fronts. The first of which is Donkey Kong in Donkey Kong Arcade isn't wearing a vest like Cranky Kong in Donkey Kong Country. We can also take a cheap shot by pointing out that Cranky Kong is not the same name as Donkey Kong, but we can prove this even easier without it. The Donkey Kong in Donkey Kong Country isn't called Donkey Kong Jr. If Cranky Kong was the original Donkey Kong, why isn't his supposed grandson, Donkey Kong, not called Donkey Kong Jr.? or Donkey Kong Jr. Jr., given that another Donkey Kong Jr. already existed. It seems pretty dumb to name three people Donkey Kong in a row, given the amount of confusion it would cause, and the arcade game is clearly called Donkey Kong. Not sufficient enough evidence? If Mario in the Donkey Kong arcade game is Mario's father, then why is he chasing after Pauline, who is clearly noted as being Mario's ex-girlfriend? Surely, Mario's father should have been already married and should have really been at home looking after Mario. But here we see it, a love heart where Mario and Pauline love each other. So at this stage, the Cranky Kong is guilty theory becomes pretty absurd. We have to assume that three Kongs were successively named Donkey Kong, not forgetting that there was an actual Donkey Kong Jr. and Cranky Kong is old enough to be Donkey Kong's grandfather, that Mario took on the exact same name as his father, both being called Mario Mario, and that Mario was never called Mario Jr. at any point to back this up, and that Mario's father was an absentee father and a chi. This seems to be a huge stretch in reasoning. Or a much simpler explanation is that the Donkey Kong in the Donkey Kong Arcade is THE Donkey Kong that there was only ever one Donkey Kong, and only ever one Mario Jumpman Mario. And we can prove this concretely, by using time and age. Firstly, based on the Yoshi DS series, we know that Donkey Kong and Mario are both approximately the same age. No big surprises here. We know that Mario is 27 years old, based on one of the Smash trophies. We also know from Gorilla Biology that gorillas live up to the maximum of 60 years old, so there's no way Mario could have fought anyone older or younger than Donkey Kong, for example. One of his parents and one of his children, as they would have been too old or too young to fight Mario. But we can slam dunk this by comparing dates, specifically game release dates. Donkey Kong Country was first released on the 21st of November, 1994. The Game Boy re-release of the Donkey Kong Arcade game was released in June 14th, 1994, a whole several months earlier than Donkey Kong Country. And who do we see on the box art? We see none other than the infamous Donkey Kong complete with his DK tie and Mario in his distinct plumber uniform. And we know that they have the exact same age because compare Pauline's, Donkey Kong's and Mario's appearance to that of Mario vs Donkey Kong Minis March Again. They have the exact same appearance from the Donkey Kong arcade gaming box art on the Game Boy. So how do we explain Cranky Kong's ramblings of omissions to guilt of crimes he didn't even commit? 
compassion for Donkey Kong, losing his marbles in his old age, an alternative universe that explains the mysterious disappearance of Donkey Kong Jr. Whatever his motives or reasons, we know that they are untrue and that we have proven that Cranky Kong is innocent. In our next theory episode, I will prove far worse that Donkey Kong is a dictator. Stay subscribed for more videos like this one and be sure to give plenty of feedback. This is The Underdog, over and out.